How do you not talk about Lost in Space? Uh, something that became part of your life. Uh, Lost in Space, I, I, I got because I was out of 20th Century Fox being interviewed for a motion picture. I received a call from the casting director at 20th. And he asked if I signed anything yet, and I said no. He said, well, he had a request, and he would like me very much to come up and speak to Mr. Allen at his office. And I said, certainly. So I went there, and Irwin, and I, 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 I feel very difficult saying Irwin. It was Mr. Allen. Mr. Allen uh, looked at me and says, uh, didn't you do a voyage to the bottom of the sea for him? I said, yeah, but you blinked too hard, you missed me. And he said, I thought you did. And he says, look, we're going to have a new television show. It's called Lost in Space. He says, there's a part in there of a robot. I don't know what the robot can do, what it will do, or what we will even allow it to do. But would you like to play the part? Well, coming from Olsen and Johnson, going through trap doors since I was a little child, I said, sure. And he said, there's one catch. You've got to fit into the uh, costume because it's like 98% done. And I said, okay. So we went down to the mill at 20th Century Fox. That's where I met its designer, Robert Kinoshita, who designed Robbie the robot for Forbidden Planet. And he, he designed our robot. So I got into it, Kinoshita knowing that actors are, are, need roles, because you're only an actor when you're an actor, otherwise you're just unemployed. And um, he said, yeah, it, it fits him, Irwin. And uh, Mr. Allen turned to me and says, okay, Bob, you got the job, get out of the robot. So they got me out of the robot. He says, by the way, he says, I have one favor to ask. I said, what is it, Mr. Allen? He says, make something out of our robot. And that's what he said to me. And uh, I was on a, uh, a week to week when we first started. Everybody else was on serious contracts. I was on a week to week.